caught on camera. Check out the scene this afternoon on Schillinger Road. People trying to help after an accident wound up right underneath a falling power line. Kimber Collins spoke to the man who captured this footage on his dash camera. But I mean, it could have been, could have been bad. Chase Harrison says the only reason he captured this moment was because the wreck knocked out his power, so he decided to go to the store. Pulled out and, and uh, started heading down Schillinger and past the Panda Express on my right, and then I could see the pole where in the car where it was crashed, and there was a few people standing out. This was the scene when WKRG News 5 arrived. We're told the driver had a medical emergency and was unable to operate the car. The passenger tried to take over but hit a curb, the car going airborne before hitting a power pole. Before it snaps, you can see where the brake is in the pole. And so I think it was honestly probably just the stress of it and the weight of it. You can see the power lines from the fall break and bounce on top of the car. Harrison says it's amazing this wasn't worse. To, to have it not, not any of the boxes on the top of the pole kind of spark it all or anything when it hit um, was kind of, you know, kind of amazing. I spoke with Alabama Power. They say the outage only affected eight customers in that area, and the immediate reaction to move from under the falling pole was the right thing to do. Many times when there is a car accident, or an accident of this nature, we can't always know when the lines are active immediately. So it's a very good idea always to stay away from any power lines that are on the ground. Alabama Power says power was fully restored by 6 in the evening. Harrison says when firemen arrived, the woman in the car was able to walk out and get on a stretcher. Thankfully, this was a video that, you know, it was crazy to see it happen, but Thankfully, you know, no one was hurt or killed or injured or anything like that. In Mobile, I'm Kimber Collins, WKRG News 5.